Is the prestige of the U.S. gaining, or is it actually losing? Myself, I feel that the prestige of the United States today is gaining. Because just think of the earthquakes and tidal waves in Chile, when the U.S. sent Red Cross, billions of dollars, food and other supplies, and medical equipment to Chile. Now, I think that if you were in a home that was destroyed, and you got clothing and medical care plus food, I think you'd feel pretty good about it. I think you'd like the U.S. And I think the um, prestige of the United States today is declining because um, recently I read a magazine about what's wrong with Congress, and 118 members of Congress answered. And um, some of the things they said is um, too many problems from states and cities and other things like that. This has to do with the prestige because if 118 members of Congress are criticizing Congress itself, think what other people of different countries are saying about us. Well, Kathy, do you agree with Debbie? Yes, I think that the prestige of the United States is declining. John, you mentioned something about the tidal waves in, in South America. Well, maybe the, I'd be grateful to the United States, too, but I recently read an article in a magazine that stated that the Latin American countries feel that we're neglecting them because, well, they're giving foreign aid to other countries, and the countries, they feel that we're neglecting the countries near them, and they should get the foreign aid first. Well, there's one point, scientific data, which hasn't been mentioned. Mark, do you have any points on this? Well, mm -hmm. I believe that we're ahead in rockets and missiles and so on. But for instance, we set up the uh, Echo, Echo satellite for communication purposes and the Tyros for uh, weather purposes. We have, uh, Russian, it, Russia has used all their satellites for propaganda purposes, but we have used ours for helping other people in, in the world. We have launched 20 satellites, which, have, which th 13 are still in orbit. Russia has launched eight, which three are still in orbit. So I think we are ahead in prestige, and we are still gaining. Mark, maybe it's true what you said, that the United States is ahead in scientific data, but they cannot, as yet, they cannot lift heavy loads into space, and if they can't lift heavy loads into space, how will we ever get a man into space? 